Uh, we started with Lost in Stereo. Um, we haven't done that over here before, which is, I think, one of the reasons we, we did it. Um, it's always been a song that, although it wasn't uh, a bigger single over here, it was always it's always been a big song live. Um, so we felt like it was a strong start. And it's a really energetic song. You know, it gets the crowd pumped, yeah. going. It's a good way to, you want to, it's like when you do, like, cla like a, like a writing class, they tell you, yeah. All your opening set sentence has to be an impactful one. Yeah. And it's sort of the same kind of and philosophy. Plus, and foreplay is sometimes more important than, than the rest of the set, you know? Than the rest sometimes. of the set. So sometimes. You gotta make the foreplay really good. Yeah. Only because as soon as anyone puts their puts your penis inside of them, you ejaculate you're, you're done. You're done. Yeah. It's a one minute man. Um, so you gotta make sure the foreplay is awesome because that's the sex isn't really gonna be a thing. He has to redeem himself in advance yeah. for what's about to happen. Like sorry, but later's not gonna really yeah. Um, anyway, so Stella is was our second song, um, and we we always throw that into festivals. It's like a really um, rowdy. It's a drinking song, so it, it always kind of fits festivals. It's a good atmosphere for that song. Um, then we went in to forget about it, which actually was a, a massive, 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 major, massive. major success for us over here. Um, so we played that one, and it was cool. Straight in the damned and dancing, which are other major, major, major. Successes. Mm -hmm. One of the big one of the big themes to like our set list is that we we try to put in as many songs as we think people in a festival environment want to hear. So we we cater towards a lot of singles and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, damn. And then I feel like dancing. Um, then we went straight into Time Bomb, which was another, which actually was I think my favorite song of the set today. Yeah. Um, it went out. It went. Kids out. got crazy, crazy nutty. A big dance party. Right before that, we we all took shots for our Guitar Tech Danny's birthday, so that was cool. Um, and then after that, we played a new song um, from the record that's coming out, uh, The Reckless and the Brave, um, which has been going over really, really well. Um, I was uh, I was stoked on the reaction. A lot of people sang along, so that was cool. And then we took we did a throwback. We went all the way back to the EP after that, and we played JC Ray. And during this song, there was like maybe six to eight different separate mosh pits. It was awesome. It was crazy. I liked it. I liked it. It was cool because it was like one or two that were close would just become one for a minute and then close back up. No. It was nuts. Um, then we played, obviously, the two closers. We, we've actually closed with these two songs back to back for a long time now. Uh, it's Wait, Listen to Dear Maria. And um, Dear Maria is kind of, it's tradition for us to close with that song. We've um, never closed with anything else yeah. since the Dear Maria has been released. Indeed. So that's always been our closer. Um, it's a strong close. Uh, and Weightless was great too. Weightless went off really well. I think that was probably the loudest I've heard this crowd sing. Oh, oh, rad. Yeah. And that was the set. It was awesome. The kids were phenomenal. And I got a boner. I got a boner.